All right, we're out here halibut fishing. And this is our bait. Octopus, herring, and pollock. All right, we're at Cape Edgecombe. And we're reeling on a halibut. Go on. No, just, okay. just video on it. All right. Nice. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That'll make it so more people will view it. Subscribe to my channel. I try and do a lot of how-to fishing videos. This is actually the most tender part of the whole halibut. Hello everybody, this is Captain Cody from GlobalFishingReports.com. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean halibut. I just went fishing with my parents. We got five nice halibut. We're gonna show you guys how to clean a halibut real quick. This is the gut pile right here. So you cut on this side of the gut pile, and then there's a lateral line right down the halibut. It actually makes it nice and easy. So we'll actually cut right down that line, all the way down, cut it. And then you always cut off the small piece of the halibut first where the guts are. So you just run your knife down, and you just follow the bone with your knife at about a 20 degree angle. And these actually have good bones, so they're actually a pretty easy fish to clean. All the way down. It looks like I might have had a little bit of bone there, so we'll take that off. So that's one fillet. And then now we'll get, yep. It just, the screen turned dark. All right, now we're just gonna take this fillet off. Just keep following it all the way down until you hit that backbone. Cool. Yep. And you're gonna get four fillets off this. So this is just the back side. So there's two fillets. And now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. There's your yours and Marshall's. The gut pile's right there. And then there's you also a line that runs right down this, so you just cut that. Wow. Put that right there. I'll spin it around. And same thing, this side the bones aren't as pronounced, so it's a little bit harder to run your knife, but it's still pretty easy. It's right along those bones. There's that fillet, and then we're gonna do the last one. All the way up right around those gills there. And then you definitely want to bleed halibut. Otherwise the meat will have a little too much blood in it. But you can see it's nice and white whenever you bleed them good. your four fillets for your halibut just like that you could cut the cheeks out but on these small halibut they're just a little bit too small so we won't worry about it okay Perfect. so the first thing you do this is the guts right here you want to cut just behind the guts but you don't want to actually hit the guts and then you can see there's a line that runs through here you actually cut along that line and then back here you'll cut this Flip them around. Always, always remove this first, this piece first. This is going to be a long piece, and it's easier to access once this piece is cut out. We're on a boat that's rocking and rolling, but there's actually a pretty good hard bones in here, so you can just run your life right along those bones. That's normal. Yeah, it just shuts off after a little bit to save battery. Hmm. But there it is. One fillet. Wow. Just spin it around. And then you start right here with this, um, where his gills and cheeks are. You'll cut right along that. All the way back. And then just like we remove this part. Man, that's a nice job. You just run your knife in here. No oh, wheat wasting right meat, there. no bones. Is there, no, there won't be any bones in here at all, Cody? Nope, no bones. And then once you pop it, right along the back. So keep coming up front here, running your knife. Does it ship with the skin on it or do you take the skin off? They'll take it off for you. 
the processor will take the skin off. So I won't do it in this video, but normally you would want to remove the skin. Okay. There's your second fillet. You get four fillets out of a halibut. And is that like our 30, is that our 38 inch one? I'm not sure how big this one was. But how big was the big one, 44? I don't think we've had it, do we? I don't know if we did either. Do you have a regular tape measure? No, I can just hold it up there. And then again, we did the same thing. So this was the gut pile. We cut right in front of the guts. Come a little closer if you could. This is the gut pile. We cut right in front of the guts. And then we're going to work that knife right along the back to get all that meat off. This part's a little bit trickier to get off, but it's still pretty easy. Those bones are pretty big. So you can just run your knife right along those bones. And it's actually a pretty easy fish to clean. I cut a little bit in some of the bones there. And then right along there, that's your third fillet. And we got one more fillet. So we'll come up and we'll cut right, right like that. You sharpen this knife every day just about? Yeah, you always sharpen your knife before you start filleting. I sharpened it last night. Having a sharp knife is very important. Otherwise, it'll look like you have no idea what you're doing. Hmm. So I'm gonna just keep working my knife down. Do you use that triangle sharpening system I like? No, nope, I just use a little carbide sharpener. Wow, you really aren't wasting anything there. No, nope. you get a really good retention rate on halibut. And then we got to keep this carcass with us. We're not allowed to throw it out until after we've given the meat to people. So that's halibut number one. Guys. Just a couple inches bigger in length is a lot bigger in mass. All right, guys, we got a 43 inch halibut here we caught. And I'm going to show you guys how to clean this. This is the gut pile right here. You don't want the gut, so feel, you can actually feel the meat right there. Well, look what a nice job that captain did of gaffing that thing. He gaffed it in the guts instead of the meat. Yeah. Some people gaff them in the head. That might even be a little bit better of a spot to gaff them, but we got it on board. That's what matters. Which is the important thing. So this one's a little bit more to work with, but same exact process. This is going to be some good eating. We're just working along that, those bones. Bob and uh, two of his friends and me were supposed to go halibut fishing. Come on. You guys are good. We got it. Generally speaking, the mom is a better photographer. That's a that's big nice, hunk of halibut, man. That's yeah. beautiful. We'll put that right in the cooler. And that's the small one that's on this fish, right? That's, yeah, that's the smallest chunk you're going to get. So now we're going to come up here. Cut down. Think how many fish this guy had to eat to get this size. Yep, he's eating a lot of fish. He's living in the... So I'm just running right along the Oh my the gosh, look how thick that is. This I'm might be a cool back. place to scuba dive, Cody, in a dry suit. Yeah, they actually do an excursion tour where you can snorkel. Yeah, yeah, we did see that. Catch a can. Oh, was that in catch a can? Yeah. Yeah, we had someone trying to talk us into it. Sound? They said it wasn't even that cold. Oh, they said they got hot. Suit. They huh? said they were hot because they were dressed so warm. I love the way All right. Now we're going to do this. This guy is, he's big. About the biggest I've cleaned because normally they have to be 38 inches or under. But we were on a fun trip today with my parents. And we got it to get Look at that. giant piece of halibut. That's about as wow. big as a nice mahi, but it's pure meat. Yeah. That's crazy. And that's only half of it. Now we get to go do the top half. Wow. No waste here. And you can send me a video of how you cook them. We can do a catch and cook. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Actually, they said they were looking in there, some recipes. Who was? You guys are going yeah, to Yeah, we want to, yeah. You got a lot of halibut to eat. I think the key is don't so again, over right in front it. of the guts there. Always take off this chunk of meat first, the small one, because it just gives you more access to that that big one. Yeah, this is a nice thick 
thick piece of meat here, that's for sure. Oh man, yeah, because you don't even get you don't get the handle that thick of meat normally because if it's a charter, you can't keep them. Yep. You get them right at 38. They can be pretty thick, but this guy's a nice one. Yeah, just a few inches longer seems like it's massive more in overall mass. Yeah, you get a lot more meat. That's why people try and get them right on 38 if you can. Mm hmm. Wow, Cody, that's beautiful. Yep, and I kept a little bit of that. Thin? Yeah, so we'll cut that off. Sounds like a plan. All right. That's off. That's a good chunk of meat. Mm -hmm. Again, that's a small, small one. Yep. One more and we'll be done. I'll do All the right. rest whenever you guys are on your ship. All right, Cody. You didn't have another 20 minutes. You got them both done, but you don't. Yeah. That's because you stayed to catch those last two halibut. Yeah. Right yeah. when we were getting ready to leave, I said, let's go. They catch two it exactly the same time. 10 minutes of reeling in, plus extra time to clean them. Actually, the two that haven't been cleaned yet were the last two we caught. Yeah, you're right. We got greedy. <laughs> that was amazing. We really thought you were stuck together the way they hit that the same crazy. moment. Both at exact same second. And they're pretty much the same size almost. Yeah, it was cool. as the I thought that we were snagged together for sure. It was just so coincidental. On this big one, I probably should have cut a ramp, cut a perimeter all the way around it. Would have made it a little bit faster. Well, I think you did good. There you go. Look at that. That's your last piece of meat. I'll cut off a little bit of that fin that I got. Yeah, cut all that. Perfect, yeah, like that. I thought I would have done it. Yep, got a little bit of bone. Where's the oh, process? Cody, where's I need the, to do that for him. All right, guys. Where's yeah, the I'll processor at? Right? I'll get you your form. Okay. That's good enough for my parents. Ah. That's awesome. Where's There's one last thing I forgot to tell you, is you got to cut out the cheeks. I showed you guys cutting out the meat, but this is actually the most tender part of the whole halibut. It's right there. You cut out that halibut cheek, get pretty close to the eye, work your way around, and there's also a cheek on the other side. Like that. Cut out all that good meat. Got to cut out the cheeks. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That'll make it so more people will view it. Subscribe to my channel. I try and do a lot of how-to fishing videos. And now these halibut won't go to waste. Nothing goes to waste in the ocean. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. We got a mess on our hands.